What's up, folks? Positive Paul, and here we are on a Monday. It is September 13th, 2021, and we'll, we'll try to lighten the mood a little bit. I know I've been hard on everybody, and uh, we, you know, we got to be kind to each other, but as you move along in the Old Testament, the one theme that is constantly repeated, always remind it, and never forgotten is eating blood forbidden. Now, a lot of reasons we're going to move along quick, but for it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. Now, what's interesting is the one thing you learn as it relates to certain behavioral patterns concerning certain individuals, many ways to de define these individuals, but they, they, we will, we, as we joke, we say a hive mind, um, terms like that, but with these rituals, we do know that there is a very powerful force that presents itself. And as you move along, you see down in Leviticus chapter uh, 18, and thou shall not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Moloch, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God, I am the Lord. Now, Moloch, he, you know, he, the spirit of uh, you-know-who is inside Moloch. And Moloch will come and go in many forms. And what it is, is this repetition of sundry laws is very interesting. So as, and well... These, this group, let's just say, as they walk down their primrose path, they know that behind them is nothing short of murder, mayhem, and uh, all the dirty business that goes with uh, buddying up, being palsy wowsy with Satan. So what they do is, the good folk that Maybe try to stand in their way. And back then you could imagine an ancient Israelite up against all those groups. The Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, the Hittites. On and on and on. One of the ways they do this, and we know with the targeting too. They can get a slander campaign going. And people... You know, some of them are slow-witted and they buy into anything, especially if money's involved. But Leviticus nineteen sixteen says, Thou shall not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. We know that let vengeance be the Lord. And we have all the funny sayings, right, folks? Um, but it's, it's about that, I guess, as the Apostle Paul put, the uh, godly conversation that we all need to have with each other. We, we, we try to keep it light. And so, you know, these matters concerning these rituals, concerning these strange gods of these people groups that seem to like mischief. But the primer for what I'm going to show you here is uh, just a direct... Direct proof. If anybody was looking pr for proof in the Bible about 
Well, let's just say if there is time travel, if there is a way to look in the future, if there is a way to change the past, has this been thought of? Have, has this been tried before? Is there an actual way, a path from to your destination? Apparently, there must be something to it because as we see and we go over our diver laws and ordinances in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 26, ye shall not eat anything with the blood Neither shall ye use enchantment nor observe times. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. And lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness, ye shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Now, he, he this... I guess is, uh, you know, if, look, the mother of all invention is necessity, right, folks? And if we keep repeating our mistakes when we're told how to avoid them, what, what, what should one make of these certain groups that seem to follow some of these practices? And... One of the most interesting issues in Leviticus concerning witnessing these certain behavioral patterns that were dem demonstrated long ago, separating the ancient humans from the hybrids, is found in Leviticus 20. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourned in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Moloch, he shall surely be put to death. Now... This is the tough part, is that when you witness evil and you turn a blind eye, you just, you turn the other cheek and you don't help this sad situation we may find ourselves all in. Here's what happens. And I will set my face against that man and will cut him off from among his people. Because he hath given of his seed unto Moloch to defile my sanctuary and to profane my holy name. And if the people of the land do anyways hide their eyes from the man when he giveth of his seed unto Moloch and kill him not, then I will set my face against that man and against his family and cut him off. And all that go a whoring after him to commit whoredom with Moloch from among their people. Now, folks, see, the sad part about this is, is these rituals are very important to everything that surrounds what is supposed to be holy, pure, and good. So therefore, sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. So very, very interesting that these, you know, diver laws and ordinances, these, here we go, these sundry laws and ordinances. Okay, this is, 
we're gonna get back to this Philadelphia project too, folks. So we're gonna go over Al Bielik's dilemma. But first, I, you know, what happens is, see, I do try, let's see if we can get this, folks. Hold on, hold your horses, everybody. Okay. Now, I do try to approach this with an open mind and not get too carried away with things, folks. And I don't always spend my time, but some, sometimes some of these things that have cropped up over the years, people come and go, I, you know, all of a sudden they get back on my radar. And in this situation, we have none other than you know who miss laura eisenhower the great uh great granddaughter of uh, ike now this david rodriguez individual i don't really know who he is but this is their new show dark to light and this particular show from maybe, I don't know, a month or so ago, is going to have David Icke on there. Now, putting that aside, I, I tried to quickly listen in, and right, right in the very beginning, things seem like they're okay. Here, here's, here's this guy, Rodriguez, right here before he's ready to do his spiel introducing David Icke. But, of course, Laura goes first very quickly to introduce David. And she looks pretty normal here. And one of the things I noticed is, I guess, the green screen, whatever they call it, I don't know. I'm not a film uh, genius here. All right, but it looked like they had some effect that also it seemed to distort their actual the image on on this particular video. So what I did was is this is the opening clip right here, and hang on. Okay, here we go. Now, once he started talking, some weird things happened to his hand. He wasn't making rapid movements, but look at his hand, right? Right there. Now, the sawtooth effect. But furthermore, look at his face. Kind of looks normal, right? It does look normal. His eyes may be a little messed up, but look at his hand. Okay. Now, you see his hand go back to kind of normal. Okay. It almost gets that cartoonish look, but the face does look normal. Now, let's look at Laura. What happened to Laura? Laura, she's not saying a word. She's listening, listening intently. But she has to be seeing what's going on. Because that can't possibly be okay. Correct, folks? And please, someone correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to present this rationally. I, I Like I said, you know, I don't... I don't mean to be the bully on the block, but I'm trying to lead people to the conclusion that yes, this false reality that we've all been put upon us it is, is, well, there is actually, in reality, a false reality. So the, the problem is, 
if this boils down to these groups where some of these groups don't belong here, or maybe it's the other way around, but they are at best antagonistic towards each other, the enmity, how do you... There again, I don't want to go over this whole thing. You, if you've listened to these people like I have for the past, say, going on now and it's sixth year, they say the same thing over and over again. And there's no direct relationship to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. None whatsoever. Yes, when they need to, to make it look like, okay, yes, you, you know, even though we are consulting, cavorting, carousing with these other gods, these Palladians, these Andromedans, these uh, reptilians, these take your pick folk, these B-Syrians, they're all, all uh, hobnobbing and rubbing elbows. It, 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 it's just amazing the amount of contact that they have. Now, let's move along. So it gets worse. So He's doing his spiel, but what is he doing right now? He's trying to introduce David Icke, and he is slobbering over David Icke, saying how great he is and how he's the father of, you know, opening so many eyes and bringing awareness to this, you know, uh, a situation concerning the reptilians or the alien presence. And, yeah, you know, come on. They, they, there's no... There's no props toward our main man. And, and however, we know who he is, Emmanuel, Jesus, all right? He, he is the scepter of uh, Israel. He is the Lion of Judah. And if you notice about these types, they all have pictures of lions. Back, you know, where, you, where their bookcases are, up on the wall, wherever they're doing their bushy, uh, videos and their cushy little lairs, they have pictures of lions. So, but look at his hands, folks. Come on, man. Look. Now look at Laura. Laura is going, oh, shit. <laughs> She's trying not... What they do, people, they ignore the truth of what this reality is. Like, do these people understand that they're on the losing side? That salvation isn't floating around in outer space for us to just go grab? All right? It, it, so what happens is he, he can't keep it together. And as they all do, they start squirming and fidgeting and it gets worse and worse. And what happens, he finally has to turn this over to David Icke. And like I said, Laura, she just don't, she don't know what, what to do because she knows this is not going to end well. All right. And what do we all say, folks? They all have to touch their self or, or somehow it, it, it's putting their, their hands somewhere on their face. In this case, he's resting his chin on his hand. But look what happened to his eye. Now... He, he, he can't stop squirming and fidgeting. So what does he do, folks? What does he do? What do they all do, folks? Look at, look at Joe Biden. Every time he talks, he has to touch his nose or pull at his mouth. Now let's look at Laura. Look at her. Look at Laura's eyes now, okay? Do you see what's happening, folks? Do you see that? Now, what do we talk about? If a human being, a little child, was put through satanic rituals, experimented on, this genetic uh, manipulation, this uh, experimentation, stem cells, whatnot, cloning, would that do something to their DNA and cause maybe the slit eye effect? Well, I would su suggest yes, but we know there's actually individuals, groups on planet Earth right now 
that demonstrate this particular attribute, this physical attribute of their eyeballs. And um, when you tend to watch some of this stuff uh, on social media, whatnot, a lot of these people, unfortunately, I, I don't know what to say anymore. Because, you know, getting mad doesn't help. It doesn't pay. Being angry about the situation doesn't pay. But some of these people seem to do be doing pretty well. <laughs> Big bank accounts. Now what happens is they finally get to the point where David Icke can come on now. Okay, let's look at this. Here's, here's David as he comes on. Now, we all know at this point, this is a flaming fallen angel possessing this uh, lazy lying lizard's uh, <laughs> body, if you want to call it that. But what do we what do we talk about? All right. These geometric patterns, look at his one hand here, folks. Do you see that? You see what I'm talking about? Right here, by my thumb. Okay, now that you see that, let's look at what he's doing. All right? And then let's check Laura out. So now, the grand poobah of conspiracy theories. So you have to understand, folks, what I'm trying to get to, and if you've been paying attention these past couple videos uh, with the Philadelphia Experiment, Montauk Project, uh, MK Ultra, all, all the things, you know, there's a, a central conspiracy of the uh, aliens. And if you look at a wheel, you put that in the middle and then everything spokes off to, to take your pick. But the main one is this alien business. And does it have anything to do with scripture? So here's the thing. These types, while they only talk about it just so it doesn't look like, yes, okay, we care. They don't. They think a whole different thing. They think in the vein of Moloch. They go the way of Cain. They're cursed like Canaan. They're cursed like Esau. The Amalekites, the Edomites. Now, here's the bugaboo. With this hybrid breeding program post-World War II, we know with the electromagnetic distortion, the groups, when you whittle this down and you look at Ike, he's one of the original hybrids, you morons. Okay, that first group post-World War II. And what did I peg the time frame? From at least... Okay, let's just say 1946 to 1960. And then once you get in the 60s, then you get into my group, my age group. Now, this original group displays a large amount of electromagnetic distortion and these reptilian attributes. So when you examine the book of Daniel as it relates to the time period of iron and clay, and you understand certain, um, certain scientific facts. Let's put it that way. That iron doesn't mix with miry clay. Get through your thick heads. And that's why you got this electromagnetic distortion on some individuals uh, and not others. So this is a thing that they visually saw way back when too. I guarantee you these ancient humans because this is not, even though this period of iron and clay is, is our time period for us, this has been an ongoing issue on how they filter in, blend in with society to take it over. So in his age group, they're the ones that control everything. The politicians, the doctors, lawyers, judges, the medical system, the legal system, the judicial system. And then that way... They can weed out the wheat, but they understand that they're allowed to grow with the wheat until the end. The tares will grow with the wheat and be separated. Well, you know how. That's right. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. And here's, here, here's the thing. Like, 
when you look at this, when you look at Ike, <laughs> he, he, they, what they all do, like Al Bilic, all of them, they stick to their story. But what happens is, remember, once you start telling so many lies, it gets confusing to try to, to backtrack and, and understand what you said. So he's he's trying to pretend that, uh, you know, yes, we gave up our free will with the you-know-what, and we have un are under this totalita uh, totalitarian, uh, draconian tyranny. Once again, we find ourselves... Like, like, but he's sitting in a million dollar mansion on the Isle of Wight, all right? These goofballs have bank accounts, homes, places. They think just because they can ride this storm out and it's never like, yeah, okay, it's, it, it's going to come. And this is just the, the, the cycle, the, the grand procession in the sky, right, folks, with the constellations, the 26,000 years. This, this never ends. The way we've been, some of us, instructed, guided within scripture as it relates to prophecy. They'll never touch the prophecy. They keep going back to Notre Dame, Edward Casey. Yes, yes, yes. But do you understand everything's modeled after these rituals? So these observer of times, all that. These people are in direct... Well, they think they're in direct contact with who knows who, but they are directly involved with these types. But because you see this glossed over Hollywood-esque uh, presentation, you know, it just, um, that's the way, that's, that's how they work, all right? And God forbid they get a little bit of emotion. See, I'm not going to go over the whole video, but this crackpot, I mean, it's just... Now look, here's what happens. Watch this. All right. So n now they're listening to Ike. And this 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 crackpot sets them both off. Now look at Laura Eisenhower's eyes now. She's turning ghostly. Now the what they do, they got to when they start to lose it, they put their hand on their face, right, to cover up these flaws. Look at his hand right there. And this, look, I, I only did the first five minutes. She, they close their eyes, try to prop, prop themselves up because they're shit in their pants. That doing this. Now look at this guy. Come on, people. And there you go. You get the Cyclops eye right there. She gets the Cyclops eye real bad. But, uh, yeah, hey. <laughs> you know, I'd Hercules be stopping by next. <laughs> and then here's the capper. All right. <laughs> I don't know why these people think I'm a joke. You know, you, you people are trying to pretend to be me. You see the elect electromagnetic uh, magnetic distortion too around her hands, and look look at look at David Ike. What did I tell you about the Muggsy effect? Okay, Muggsy, take the boy, surround the house. See, they all got it, and a couple more folks just for effect. <laughs> I, I I know. I know, you think this is all a joke, man. America's waiting for their big payday. We got football season again. Football season's here again. And uh, all this stuff is just immaterial. Now, with these uh, rearranging, this shuffling of everything, the Afghanistan issue, remember, they need these... They need these events to happen so that way we don't try to... It, it, they're, they're bombing us with so much that it's hard to point out which way to go. What, what you know, where's the safe path, all right, to avoid these lazy lying lizards, these screwballs. Now, 
you would think the effort that I've shown year after year now that they put in myself, Paul Wilson Linder Jr., contain, uh, concerning my satanic ritual abuse, MK Ultra, these implants, testimony, and all this is going on. The, the United, I haven't been in the United States in over four years. And they've been flooding the U.S. to put the final kibosh on what, whatever it was supposed to be. So you get these individuals, right? Oops, what happened there? Hold on, people. You get these individuals that... I'm not going to make too much of this. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at this next clip of him. And this, this is who is working on the problems, folks. This is, this is who is protecting the homeland. You know, they're, they're real worried about Positive Paul for some reason, though, with all the issues they have. And it seems like the more they try to correct their mistakes by going back and trying to cover their tracks, well, the more they're being exposed. But the question is, who's exposing them? So it's these cue ball head types. I actually ran into one in Rosarito Beach here recently that was slandering right in real time the neighbor as they go around. They don't want me talking to anybody down here. And what they do is they send out these cue ball head hybrid types, these supposed agents, the ones that can easily lie. They have no conscience. Because, see, remember, folks, when they do mop-up operations to put you in these pens in the U.S., the people that are going to come after you are not going to be real people. They're not going to sympathize with you at all. Matter of fact, they could care less what you tell them or what you have. They're just going to cart you off and put you where you belong because you didn't stand up like a man or a woman or a, a patriot. Right, folks? Now, look at the top of this guy's ear, the indentation on his uh, cranium there. And look at his eyes. Now, and not to mention the fangs. Now, look, people, I try to lighten up about this. But let's, I wanna, I was looking at just a regular YouTube video on your aura, right? Everybody, the chakras, all this stuff. I wish I could have time to learn about all this. You know, what I've been learning about recently in the past couple years is how to identify the constellation, the stars, all that. But when it comes to um, me trying to develop any psychic uh, ability I may or may not have had, that's long gone. But why? Every time I try to watch a video, this is what these people look like. Now, is this, is this, come on, folks, a a am I... I don't want to beat this to death, but we got to get it together. Now, like I said, I, f I forget about these people. They get off my radar. And, and something happened, again, that sparked this guy got on my radar again, this Gavin Syme. Now, remember, folks, he, he, he was, he's, well, claimed then, now, whatever, a civil activist. He was up there exposing some of the corruption in Washington State. And, uh, you know, they tried to set him up, apparently. But he took his family and went to Mexico. And matter of fact, he went down and Mexico gave him ref refugee protection from the USA, if you can believe that. But, you know, he, he's always known for getting into authorities' faces and questioning what they're doing. You know, interfering with uh, their work. Uh, they're, they're in the line of duty, and this numbskull goes around. And he did the same thing in Mexico. It was pretty, I was like, wow, this has to be. Why would these Mexicans do this? Now, do you think that I, I, I talk to the authorities all the time, but very, very cautiously and respect, respectful. Do you think that this screwball, when he's made, putting up his videos that are probably pulled down by now, of him and his little act of what he, he, Mexico gave me refugee protection from the U.S.? Oh, okay. Well, let's look at this screwball just recently from the other month. Now, what do I tell you about the Muggsy effect? All right, talking out of the side of your mouth. Now, wherever he is, of course... 
You know, he's... He, I guess he's got something figured out. He's one up on me. I can't get refugee status. No one will even listen to me down here. In fact, they're ordered to stay away from me. But they can never finish this investigation. Who does an endless investigation? Only never to make an arrest or anything. Right? If someone commits a crime or... Let's, let's say they're on the lam. Right? They're on the lam. And they are uh, amscrade to another country. And they have to contact the, the other country and say, oh, well, hey, we've got uh, Bin Laden down there in uh, Rosarito Beach, Mexico. And um, we think we, we, we need you to help us. Uh, you know, this, this, is, this is what we got on them. So, uh, you know, while you're doing your deals dirty, di uh, deals dirt cheap with the devil and uh, hanging out, you know, letting the cartel run, run wild, you keep an eye on this positive Paul. <laughs> These people, man, I'm telling you. But there's, some of them are good people. They just don't get it because the rest of the world has been left in a st uh, paralyzed in a state of, um, I don't know how to describe it anymore. Because no one, when you say satanic ritual abuse to anybody around here, they're like, what? I, I, I was poor when I grew up and, uh, you know, I did this and that, but no, folks. So what happens is, you know, social media is flooded with disinformation, but it's cleverly done to really entice. I mean, this guy knows how to make a video. I wish I had his skills. I wonder how he hid the money. He, that's what I, I always figure out with Brian too. How'd that guy for four or five years now, globetrotting, doing the same thing over and over again. Oh, the r and supercomputer's attacking me. Oh, my heart, my ears. And this guy, Mr. Refugee, uh, hey, Muggsy, take the boy, surround the house, see? We got Positive Paul. He's in, he's barricaded inside. We're going to go in and get him. Matter of fact, we're going to use our army of perp gang stalking. Uh, I better quit while I'm ahead. I can do comedy, folks, if you want me to do comedy. Now, see, boys, I need a stogie, quick. Someone get me a stogie. Go down and get me a Cubano on Fidel, no less. You fucking people don't even know what you've been looking at for since YouTube's inception, man. And look, I'm no genius. I'm just a dumbass that survived this. The others didn't. I, I don't get it. Why well, you people don't see what I see, or or you you you're trying to hang on to whatever you got until the bitter end, until the the day does come and things do just like, oh, okay, party's over, everything's shut down. They misled us. <laughs> they were always telling us that they were working on stuff, but they can never wrap this investigation up. Isn't isn't it a vaudeville act? Barnum and Bailey, <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, Magnum PI. Uh, maybe, who, who knows? We'll get uh, Bugs Bunny on a job.